So the first day in the mountains and there's two more to come here in the Alps, but Team Dimension data really showed us they're up for the fight. Two men in the leading group that was out front for most of the race and at the end of the day, Serge Powell's crossed the line in a fighting fifth place. That's a good omen for what's to come. These are the days, of course, when we won't be talking about Mark Cavendish. He's a sprinter. His turn will come a little later on. You know, back in 1998, uh, France was beating Brazil in the World Cup final, 3-0. It was also the year the Tour de France made its only start from Ireland in Dublin. Well, on the eve of the first rest day, where the riders still faced up to a long transfer down to the Alps of some 800 kilometres, the French weren't going anywhere on the eve of that rest day because, Paul, they were cheering France to a great victory over Croatia. You know what, they don't win very often, but when they do, they certainly know how to celebrate. And I reckon the next two weeks of the Tour de France, right the way up to the finish in Paris, is going to be a celebration for France. I wonder if they're going to get the Bleu Blanc and Rouge behind the professional cyclists. Well, why not? We're still awaiting a first French stage victory in the Tour de France, and they know that. But now they've dropped the concentration on the World Cup. You watch the crowd size and the viewership increase on the Tour de France this year. Well, we've chosen a beautiful wine here, and after all, it should be perfect because Niederberg have taken 200 years to perfect it, and they've done just that with this Niederberg Two Centuries Cabernet Sauvignon wine. It smells delicious, it is delicious, and Paul, why don't we toast the French on this occasion? Of course, I'd like to say, vive la France, and with a South African wine, why not vive la différence? Cheers, and don't forget, drink responsibly. <laughs>